What's up everybody? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. Today we're going to do a review of the Comfort Trim shorts or pants, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, the Comfort Trims, I'm going to do a review and tell you guys if it's even worth the money. We're going to jump to a property. I'm going to throw them on my legs and I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the stuff that I'm going to go through and some of the stuff that I'm going to do to try to really put these to the ultimate test before I tell you guys whether or not you should buy them or not. Which, by the way, spoiler alert, if I do recommend for you guys to buy them, there will be a link for them in the description below, and you guys can try them out for yourself. So for some of you guys that might not be familiar with what comfort trims are, they are literally sleeves for your legs, and they are supposed to be vented and cooled, adjustable, and their one size fits most, and they're extremely durable, so they say. Here's just a little bit of cautions and stuff like that. It says it doesn't protect against very sharp things, and obviously it doesn't protect against machines. So you don't want to hit yourself with the string if you don't run a guard like me. Which, by the way, there's going to be a video coming out whether or not you should or should not run a guard. So stay tuned for that. It should be out in another week or so. So let's jump to the property, throw these on, and let's try it out. We're getting ready to try out these comfort trims. So we're going to put them on, and then mow and trim this big property here. So yeah, I do look a little ridiculous with these on, but they are pretty comfortable. Like the name says, comfort trim. They are comfortable. So let's go give, a, give them a try. So right here, I was trimming this little overgrown garden part where the customer no longer grows anything in it, except for weeds, as you guys can see. And there is a lot of rocks and sand and dirt and gravel and just a bunch of stuff that you don't want to be hit by while you're out trimming. But let's face it, we all do anyways while we're out trimming. It's just part of it. And yeah, it hurts. That's why a lot of guys do wear pants or some kind of protective gearing. I will say this absolutely does protect you against sand and gravel and stuff like that. But if you throw a big enough rock, it won't protect you. Just like the caution says on the wrapper or the package you came in, it will not protect you against sharp stuff, so glass will still go through through you and still cut you. However, it's better than nothing, right? As you guys know, I always wear shorts just because it keeps me cool. Now right here in this little slow motion shot that I've got, you guys can really see the grass actually bouncing off of the comfort trims. This is just to kind of give you an idea and a perspective of how much grass and stuff actually does fly back at you and hit you in your legs. So it does protect you from that. And it also keeps your legs clean, which is a very big plus in my book. So when you get back in and out of your truck or if you go home for lunch, yeah, you know, you don't have to really drag as much grass through the house and you don't have to worry about cleaning off as much. Now right here is just kind of a shot to show you what you look like. You do kind of look ridiculous with them on as they kind of look like parachute pants, but it is what it is, you know, the safety is a big thing. So I guess you got to take for what you can and not complain too much, right? So for some of you that were wondering how well they work, they have this little elastic spot on them and you slide your leg through there and then it velcros, which is why it says one size fits most because it velcros to your leg or your knee. If you noticed in the video, I actually wore them a little higher up on my knee. So there was about that much of my ankle sticking out. So if you actually wore them a little bit lower, it would probably protect your ankles a lot more than the way I had them. As you guys can see, they are vented on the back, which is supposed to help air blow through. Now let's get to the cons of these. Yes, they're vented on the back to let air blow through, but that only benefits you and it only really works when air is blowing you from behind. They're not really much cooler than wearing pants. Or at least in my opinion, they're not as cool as just wearing shorts. You can definitely tell there's something on your legs. And right around the elastic waistband, if you don't have the Velcro on just right, it does bother you, at least me it does, and it irritates your skin just a little bit. So you have to kind of play around with that. Now one thing to know for me is I am highly allergic to poison oak and poison sumac, and these will not protect you from anything like that. Poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, nothing. Yes, it stops it from hitting this portion of your legs, but it will still cover you. So I don't recommend using these for some kind of poison ivy repellent. Especially because if it gets on here at all, it's just going to go through and get your leg anyway. I do highly recommend these if you're doing a lot of trimming or if you're trimming brush and stuff like that. It will protect your legs from brush and like I said, help keep you clean just a little bit. So if you're clearing brush or doing really thick stuff or maybe an overgrown property, I highly recommend these. I also highly recommend these if you're doing big properties, you know, where you have 20 minutes or more of trimming in one spot. However, for your regular average size yards, even well manicured yards, I don't really recommend these. I feel like they're not that needed. For your regular well maintained yards where there's very little trimming, you know, maybe 10 minutes tops of trimming and then you're on to the next yard, they're kind of hot and not that comfortable to wear in the truck and constantly getting out. 
and they're just a little bit tedious putting on and off to put on and off every stop. So if you're one of the guys that does several stops in one day, I don't really recommend these to you. In that case, if you were wanting something that would be just a little bit more beneficial to you or a little bit more protective, I highly recommend just wearing paints or getting what's called gaiters, which I'll put a link in the description to those. Those might be a little bit more beneficial to you and they actually might help you better in the poison ivy side of things as opposed to running these. Which by the way, I'm speaking from experience because I'm highly allergic to poison sumac and I ended up getting covered in it while wearing these. For someone like me that mows apartment complexes and stuff and lots of big properties and has lots of trimming, I'd say these are highly worth it. Or even the guys that do a lot of overgrown properties or brush cutting and stuff, I'd say these are highly worth it for those guys. But again, if you're somebody that has perfect yards and they're well manicured, I don't think these are going to benefit you at all. As far as some kind of scoring goes, I would say I'd give these a 7 out of 10. They do work for what they said they were going to, but they could be a little bit better. They could be a little bit more comfortable. However, they're not terrible. I'd say they're well worth the price for somebody that has the needs for it. Again, the guys that do brush cutting, overgrown properties, or trim more than 20 minutes of trimming at one spot. Let me know if you guys have any experience with these comfort trims and put your experience in the comments below. So far I'm impressed with them and I will continue to use them on my bigger properties or overgrown properties. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to click the link in my description and you can go check these out for yourself. You can get you a pair. I also linked the gators in there. Somebody else can give them a try too if they would prefer those over the years. Anyways, thanks everybody for coming and checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And as always guys, thank y'all for watching.